the concern about what materials are appropriate in the classroom for certain ages of students is an ongoing one. Many people feel that certain texts should not be in the classroom. They should not be available to students. Students should not be required to read them. We call this censorship. You know, people talk about the McCarthy period and remember the actors that were fired and the people who were blacklisted, but very few people know the teachers that were uh, brave during that period of time. Teachers in California, for example, who refused to sign the loyalty oaths, and I did sign a loyalty oath because I was just a beginning teacher and it's been my whole life wanting to be a teacher and to not be able to do that anymore was just very difficult for me, so I did sign. That's the kind of fear that we were under, and in some ways the bravery that we had to have to do the kinds of units and studies that we needed to do. And you know, that's still happening today. And we, we haven't gotten a lot better at some of that, and I'm just hoping that perhaps we can learn to be open to more ideas and to do things in innovative ways. I've always been able to turn to NCTE for rationales, for support, just moral support. Please talk to me and say we're not crazy in trying to teach this book. For numbers, details about where it's taught, what grade levels it's taught at, um, awards the books have won. Um, and, and then it's just nice to know that they're always there.